I found the Von Braun clip. It's D17 there, Steve. Okay. Von Braun says the biggest rocket you can build can only achieve Earth orbit. You need multiple fuel trips to go to the moon. Okay. Says it on camera as okay. well as in print. All right. This will be good for, for Charlie to see. Charlie, watch this one. Here to reveal a plan for a trip around the moon is the chief of the guided missile development at the United States Army's Redstone Arsenal, Dr. Werner von Braun. A voyage around the moon must be made in two phases. A rocket ship taking off from the Earth's surface will use almost all the fuel it can carry just to attain a speed great enough to balance the pull of gravity. Unpowered, it will then keep circling the Earth in an orbit outside of the atmosphere. This is the first phase. However, if we can refuel the ship in this orbit with fuel brought up by cargo rocket ships, it can set out on the second phase, the trip around the moon and back. So three people just said, Von Braun said it twice, that you have to make ferried fuel trips to have enough fuel to leave Earth orbit. You had him say it on camera, you had Elon Musk say it, and you had a rocket scientist building rockets for NASA saying it. He also said, I just discovered this because he is taking the Apollo launches on faith. You know, my bank web, web page says that my money is backed by the faith in the United States government that kills their own presidents, kills their own soldiers, <clears throat> and fakes moon landings, right? So, so um, Charlie, what do you make of that video of Von Braun saying that, that you would need to refuel in Earth orbit to get all the way to the moon? And because it would take, a, he said it would take all the fuel in the rocket to get that orbit around the Earth, and then you would need to refuel again before going to the moon. Uh, I've never heard that before. Okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, they built the Saturn V. And yep. and the Saturn V mm -hmm. lifted uh, uh, lifted off, and uh, the third stage that you stayed attached to the third stage, and you were on on the front end with that with the command module, service module, mm -hmm. lunar module. You fired out of Earth orbit, and you got your and you started way to the moon. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of the Saturn V. I mean, the right. S four B. Okay. Okay. It it opened up the. Pedals opened up and exposed the lunar module. You separated the command service module, and then beneath it, these flowers opened up and they and exposed the top of the lunar module. So you made a 180 degree turn and you came back in and you joined up with the top of the lunar module. That was the docking ring. And you you docked, you latched all the latches, made sure you were connected correctly you hit a, a switch uh you hit a switch and you uh of some sort and it released the lunar module and then you just backed it out with your re reaction control system in the command service module mm -hmm. and uh and then so that was the condition you went to the moon in a barbecue sometimes in a barbecue with the lunar module attached and we went into it uh, to check it out, make sure there was no leaks, this and that and the other. And But then we closed it back up again, and then we didn't go in again until we got into lunar orbit. Mm. We got into lunar orbit, and John and I, I was the first one in. And I'd put on my spacesuit, except for helmets and gloves, and took those with me, and then we went into the lunar module, and I started powering up. And uh, that... I forgot exactly how long that took, but mm -hmm. it was several revolutions. And John came in, and when we got ready, uh, we put on our helmets and gloves and uh, and pressurized to make sure these everything was – pressurized the suits to make sure everything was okay. Mm -hmm. And when everything passed, uh, we just uh, – I forgot whether Mattingly hit the button or we hit – it was Mattingly, and he just released us. And we just backed off. Well, okay. Von Braun, okay. in my book, Moon Man, he yep. said that these numbers are mathematically irrefutable. The numbers speak for themselves. Things become more fuel efficient over time. So mm -hmm. it's taking a tremendous amount of more fuel 
to go to the moon now than in 1969. Von Braun said it's impossible twice, once in writing, once on camera. Elon Musk, with a rocket that carries twice the fuel of the Apollo rocket, says that you cannot go unless you make 15 fuel trips first, which is an equivalent of 30 Saturn V rockets. And we just heard a rocket scientist say he may get in trouble with NASA for saying this, Uh but it's going to take... 15, 20, up to, you know, 28, I counted all of them in the graphic, yeah. 28 clips to go to the, uh, ships to go to the moon. The next three clips I have are people like Kelly Smith and Don Pettit, modern day astronauts, and they say the farthest they can go is Earth orbit. This is clip D20, and they hope to eventually go to the moon. Play D20, it's real well, Bart, short. When so, it comes so to wait, the, what's the point of this discussion? We did not go to the moon? <laughs> You're just so, digging your hole deeper every time you say that, so, General. So, Bart, when it, when it comes to- Wait, the, wait, wait. Yeah. So, Apollo was all faked. According to Bart, yes, it was all faked. It was a big prop- propaganda campaign during the Cold War. And so we had- 260 something pounds of moon rocks that were brought back they're all faked i, I guess bart hasn't an, hasn't seen them hasn't analyzed them yeah I, you remembered word for word a telephone conversation we had 20 years ago and at the beginning not recorded and somehow you can't remember what we said a half an hour ago that the moon rocks are fake. We showed an article. Von Braun picked up hundreds of pounds in Antarctica right before the Apollo mission. And according to a contractor, they can manufacture them. Go to clip D20. Uh, I'm, uh, let, just let me make uh, yeah, it. I, I, I was in delusion for two weeks. I was on the moon for three days. Well, you said and, you have top secret. Uh, wait, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. And I picked up 200, I think we picked up a couple of hundred pounds of moon rocks. Mm -hmm. And we brought them back. They've been analyzed. They're moon rocks. And so I don't understand the purpose of this discussion. Why why are we going back and saying Apollo was a fake? Why does an Apollo astronaut have top secret clearance? I didn't have top secret clearance. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you said that. D- clip. D- I mean, I, uh, uh, we had nothing in Apollo that was classified. That's, but there, I did have a, a, a clearance from my, milita- my military of, uh, time uh, when I was before NASA, and I did have a top secret clearance then. Okay. Okay. So clip D20 is a modern-day shuttle astronaut saying the farthest they can go is Earth orbit, and they hope to eventually go to the moon, D20. <clears throat> D20, let me look so at it. So when it comes to the evolution of rockets and technology, um, it's not necessarily that the, the Saturn rocket would be impossible to make. Like It wouldn't be physically impossible, but an argument would be that it's logistically impossible because today in 2025, we don't have the same machines. We don't have the same talents. We don't have the same trades that we had that were available in the 1960s. Because the they world, destroyed it. The world has evolved. The economy has evolved. We do things differently now. Objectives have changed. Now we're focusing on building reusable rockets. So the Saturn was not a reusable rocket, right? So now we're trying to save money developing a new style of rocket. So that would be a compelling argument to why we haven't gone back to the moon is because we build rockets differently because the objectives have changed. Well, all I know is what Elon Musk says, for a rocket that can carry twice the fuel of the Saturn V Apollo rocket, it's gonna take 15 launches to a fuel station first in order to have enough fuel to leave Earth orbit to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. He said it, the rocket scientist just said it, Von Braun said it on camera, Von Braun said it in writing. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.